we've analyzed a fresh sample of Mobile One Zero W40. I'm Lake Speed Jr., certified lubrication specialist. Let's get into the results. Your engine is talking. Used oil analysis helps you listen. So Mobile One Zero W40 European is FS, fully synthetic. And what they mean by that is actually a PAO ester blend. And we know that by looking at the oxidation value of the new oil. It was coming in right about 35.7 on oxidation value. A normal oil that's not fully synthetic, not a PAO ester blend, will be less than that. Typically gonna be in the eight to 12 range, brand new. This being 35 tells us it's a PAO ester blend, and because it's a 0W40, the viscosity is coming in right at 12.9 centistokes at 100 degrees C. Now, this is really important because it's barely over the threshold. 12.6 and higher is essentially a 40 grade. So, 12.5 is the cutoff line between a 30 and a 40. Being so close to that cutoff line, when we see oil samples, used oil samples of Mobile One Zero W40, it is typically below grade. It's less than 12.5 centistokes. It's sheared down into the 30 grade range. That's pretty typical of what we see when we're analyzing used oil samples of Mobile One Zero W40. And we see the reason why right here. It's already pretty low to begin with. We know it's a full synthetic PAO ester blend based on the oxidation. Now the other thing that stands out about this product is that it is a higher calcium, higher detergent type oil. It's an older formula that's 3,294 parts per million of calcium detergent. Now this is important if you have a direct injection engine. If your engine is a direct injection, a DI type engine, I wouldn't recommend this product because of that higher level of calcium detergent. Here's why. There's been significant testing on the detergent type and levels for direct injection engines. There's a phenomenon called low speed pre-ignition. It's a type of detonation that can occur in direct injection engines. And there's been a correlation found between the detergent type and level with the occurrence of low speed pre-ignition. Essentially, the higher level of detergent, specifically calcium, the more frequent, the more higher tendency there is to see low speed pre-ignition. In fact, all the current API SP oils have a lower level of calcium detergent because they must pass a low speed pre-ignition test. In fact, a recent video we did on Mobile One's 15W50 showed that the new formula, the SP formula, had that reduced level of calcium detergent. This older 040 formula still has that higher level of calcium detergent. So that's why it is not recommended for direct injection. In Looking beyond just the calcium levels in that detergent package, there's about 1,200 parts per million phosphorus, about 1,000 parts per million zinc, which isn't bad levels by any means. Looking at the friction modifier package, we see there's both moly and boron, about 89 parts per million molybdenum and about 294 parts per million boron. That's a pretty good friction modifier package. So, We've actually seen pretty good fuel economy results from this oil compared to other 5W40 type oils that are European spec that doesn't have as much moly and boron in them. Of course, the viscosity is a big part of that. Overall, this oil is pretty good for fuel economy, but because of that higher calcium level, I would really caution against using this oil in a direct injection engine. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.